All right, so just a quick update. So I, uh, I'm going through the internet there, and trust me, there is no shortage of how to assemble a freaking engine on YouTube. But one thing I have noticed that uh, nobody seems to be picking up on or is not presenting for some very reason is the major and minor side thrust of a piston. If you look at these pistons here, you'll notice that there's notch relieves on the top there, for obviously for the valves. So see they're on the top of both sides. But if we check the pistons here, you'll actually notice that that side there is the minor side thrust of the piston. And this side here, you see how that's twice as wide? That's the major side thrust of the piston. So what's going on here is, uh, see my little arrow? As the crank rotates around like that, that piston is pushing down across the outside of the crank as it swings down and around. That pushes thrust to the outside of that piston. But on the other bank of the engine, because the crankshaft's still going around in the same rotation, of course, that one's pushing down this way, which is putting thrust on the top side of this. So when you assemble your pistons, you gotta make sure that you put the thrust side of the piston, the major thrust side, on the major thrust side of the engine, minor thrust, but then on the opposite bank, it's major thrust, minor thrust. So I just thought I'd put that on there real quick because I noticed that uh, quite a lot of people don't seem to mention anything about that and it's really freaking important when you put in pistons that you put the major and minor thrust sides to the correct side according to the rotation of the block. Alright, bye.